G'day, Brenton here, VK2MEV. Um, today I'm just uh, demonstrating a digital signal processor system that I've been working on. Uh, my goal with this project was to see if I could build um, a system that did some useful digital signal processing uh, using only easy to use components. And by easy to use, I basically just mean uh, DIP packages. Um, the one drawback of doing this is that it's very difficult to get uh, a high performance CPU in a DIP package. Um, and so uh, the capabilities of this system is a little bit limited. Um, but the CPU I had on hand was uh, an Atmega uh, 168P, just uh, one of the Atmel AVRs there. Um, it's an 8-bit uh, CPU running at uh, 20 megahertz. Um, and what I've managed to get on this thing is um, a... Uh, and what I've managed to, uh, to program onto this is several um, low-pass filters. They're third-order elliptical filters, if, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, and then after that, I've also got a, a noise gate. Um, now let's just look at the whole system first. Uh, firstly, the whole thing runs at 8, 8 kHz, 8,000 samples per second. Um, and so there's two analog filters in the lower left here. One of them uh, is an input anti-aliasing filter, um, and the other one is an output reconstruction filter. Both of them are third-order Chebyshev filters um, built out of a, a Salon key architecture, um, and they have uh, cutoffs at 3 kHz. Um, I've got a 12-bit analog to digital converter in there. Um, the AVR reads the data off it, um, does the processing, and then sends the output to uh, a very similar 12-bit digital to analog converter there. Uh, and then this mess in the lower right here, uh, we've just got one op amp here to create a, a half-rail bias, um, and this transistor and op amp are uh, part of a headphone driver that, um, that I'm not using at the moment. Um, but let's just demonstrate the processor now. Um, I've got three different uh, pins here that are controlling uh, what the processor does. The one on the left here just controls the noise gate, and the, if I just turn that off, just leave a bit of silence there. The noise level isn't too high, uh, but I'll just leave that, leave that on for the time being. Um, then these next two control the filtering. At the moment, that's set to, to have the filter completely off. Um, and if I flick them both on, that's now selected a, um, a 300 hertz high pass filter. Uh, and then if I change another one, that's now flicked over to a 500 hertz um, high pass filter. And then lastly, that is a 700 hertz high pass filter. So yeah, um, this whole thing is just sort of uh, playing with um, DSP. Um, I plan on using this on air, I guess. I have tested it on air, and the whole circuit uh, certainly works. There's no really bad RF feedback or anything. Um, but um, I basically just want to use it as a noise gate and low-pass filter um, when using um, single sideband on HF. But other than that, it was a really fun project, and I've certainly put a lot of work into uh, making infinite impulse response filters work on such a low-powered CPU.